How is it to go on out today, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on the Mike Tyson's Punch Out tutorial. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. So let's learn how you fight the first opponent in the game, Glass Joe. And he is the easiest opponent in the game. So all we're going to do with this guy is we're just going to, um, here's one strategy you can use for the first knockdown. There's one more buffer strategy I want to show with him. So all we do is punch him face three times, then punch him in the body three times. Over and over again. Just like in Punch Out Wii. When he does his taunting thing like this, hit him in the stomach right when he charges you and knocks him down. They got up on number one. Let's talk about that a little bit. Any opponent they get up on number one, you know a star punch will knock him down. Here's one more buffer strategy I want to show with Glass Joe. It's just as easy as the other two we did in the game controls video. Here's how you do another easy strategy. It is a buffer strategy. I'm holding up an A. This time I'm going to buffer A 22 times. And then after that I'm going to buffer A while holding up, then I'm gonna let go of up, then buffer A twice, then B twice. And this is probably the easiest buffer strategy you can do with Glass Joe. You don't have to count all 22, you just need to do this until your heart counts. Get down to two, and then you know you have one more face punch to land. Just like that and he will go down and not get up if he did everything properly. That's how you use one that's how you use the last buffer strategy with glass shows I'm gonna show. Let's go over phase one again and we'll move on to phase two. So phase one all we're gonna do is hit him in the face three times and hit him in the body three times. After hitting face three times you have to keep holding up until his guard is up. If not it will not work. Because if you let go of up, I'll show you what happens if you let go of up first. We're going to punch him face three times. Then we're going to let go of up after that see what happens. See? You can do this and hit him in the face continuously. There's one strategy you can do, but you don't have to use this strategy. And then, like that. But, if you keep up held down... So that's a few things we need to go over. If you keep up held down, um, he'll raise his guard. So that means we can that means we can punch him in the stomach three times and alternate back and forth. But here's one more thing I want to show. Um, if you um, after you land the third body blow to the stomach and you hold down up until the punch is done, his guard will stay up. Then when he charges, you punch him real quickly. Then here's phase two right now. <clears throat> so when he gets back up, we're just going to alternate where his guard is. You can't do it every three this time. You can do it random amount. Until, until, don't do it until you get one star. Do it until you get two. And then just buffer, then he got up on number one. Any opponent, when they get up on number one, you know, one star punch will knock him down. Let's go over the whole fight again without pausing. So see what it's like when he beat him all the way through. Because it's a very simple fight. So all we're going to do is just, Punch him in the face three times. I'm holding up and B already, so I could punch him in the face. It doesn't matter which hand you use. It doesn't matter. You do it with the left or the right and they both do the same. But, you, but left's the only way you need to dodge. When you're dodging opponent's attacks, you only need to dodge left. You don't have to worry about dodging right. So you're going to punch him in the face three times. Keep up held down. Body three times. Don't hold up yet. Hold up right when his guard drops and keep up held down until his guard goes up. After each three punches you do. Then when he charges you, punch him in the gut. Right when he charges you, knock him down. He's going to get up on number one. If you do it early enough, he'll stay down. Now we're going to alternate where his guard is until we get two stars. 
or three, it doesn't matter. And as soon as you get the second star, you use the star. Now I'm holding down star because he's going to get up on number one. If any opponent gets up on number one, the star punch will knock him down. And that's all I have to do to beat Glass Joe. Very, very simple. The easiest fight, not difficult at all. The easiest opponent you'll ever face in the game. Here's how you know opponents whether they'll attack or not. They're bobbing up or down when they freeze. That's how you know they're going to attack. Because every opponent, they always freeze before they attack. If you have any questions about the fight with Glass Joe, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll gladly answer them for you. If you have any questions about Glass Joe, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll gladly answer them for you. We'll be moving on to Von Kaiser next time. Which is the next opponent right here. Okay, everybody, that was it. That's helpful. Never give one.